So after a long time, we are gonna talk about planets again. No, not ordinary planets, which we already know, but some of the unknown bizarre planets in space, which is quite difficult to even seem believable. So sit tight and enjoy this journey of science fiction becoming reality. Here is the second episode of Unbelievable Planets in Space and if you haven't seen the first episode of this which is in Hindi language then you can watch that too after this video ends. Link is in the description. So the first planet in our list is kinda hot or more precisely it's icy hot. Yeah you heard it right. The term icy hot is appropriate for the planet Gliese 436b and it is because this planet is completely made out of solid icy surface which is constantly burning on fire. It is also regarded as hot Neptune as it has same diameter as Neptune. But it orbits 15 times more closely to its parent star than Mercury orbits our sun. Well that explains why this planet is so hot with plus 440 degrees centigrade. But why ice on this planet doesn't melt and simply evaporate away onto its atmosphere? Well that's because of its intense gravity which is 18% more than of our earth and this intense gravity forms an enormously pressurized atmosphere on this planet which traps down H2O on the surface in solid form. So basically the atmospheric pressure and the gravitation pull of this planet is so strong that it doesn't simply allow ice to evaporate away in the first place. Hence ice on the planet Gliese 436p is hotter than the fire on earth. Next on the list we have our Saturn's big grandfather which is also referred as Super Saturn. Planet J1407b located around 433 light years away from Earth has Saturn-like ring system. Well, I refer it as Saturn's grandfather because it has almost 200 times larger ring system than Saturn has got, which makes it one of the most strange planet in the universe itself. Scientists don't exactly know how this planet formed and maintains this much of ring around itself while making an orbit to its parent star. Now, if you somehow place J1407b in our solar system replacing the Saturn, then this is how it would look like. Now moving on to the next one, the grandfather of Jupiter also known as HD 10546b located around 337 light years away from Earth is the largest planet ever found by mankind. Like Jupiter, it is also a gas giant planet but it is almost 7 times more massive than Jupiter. Well it's quite hard to perceive this planet's size like this, so let's put this planet before our sun. Yeah, like you can see right now, it is only 1.4 times smaller than our sun. And comparing to Earth, you can pretty easily fit 1 million Earth or Earth-sized planet inside of it. Scientists were shocked to know that this kind of planet can actually exist because planet with this much of diameter cannot exist as a planet for longer. It just turns into a brown dwarf or a star with nuclear fusion. However, it is still unclear to the scientists that whether it is even a planet or a brown dwarf and how this was formed in the first place. In the previous episode of this video, we have seen a planet raining glasses at the 6 times of the speed of sound or almost 2 km per second. Well, now in this video, we are gonna discuss about the grandfather of that planet. HD 189733b is a gas giant planet which faces so closely to its parent star that the light side of this planet is radiating with almost 966 degrees centigrade and the dark side of this planet is still hot with not less than 685 degrees centigrade. Now the reason why dark side of this planet still remains so hot is because of its violently fast winds which is pretty fast but not 7000 km per hour, not even 10,000, but it is scarier than that. Winds on this planet blow up with almost 35,000 km per hour or 10 km per second which is 29 times of the speed of sound. To put on a perspective, if you could just fly around this planet with the forces of its wind only then you can travel the entire planet pretty easily and it would take you barely one hour. Well, in case you survive there, good luck for that. Okay, enough of hell-like uninhabitable planets. Now let us discuss about some beautiful heaven-like planets, scientifically referred as super habitable planets. Well, as you know, our Earth is the only confirmed habitable planet which supports life. Now, what if I tell you that there are planets in the universe or could be which is way better than Earth, I mean more habitable, life-supporting and friendly than Earth? Well, it was merely an hypothesis before this kind of total 24 planets being found till now. And some of these planets are Kepler-62f, Kepler-186f and Kepler-442b. Now just imagine, if a planet has more fantastic habitable conditions than our Earth has, then which kind of mystical species could thrive in those planets? 
now if talking about organic entities then they can actually form even in extreme conditions and it was pretty much found in many researches till now just back in september this year scientists discovered evidences that are supporting existence of microbial life in venus and we all know that venus is one of the most extreme planet in our solar system where we could not even imagine life to exist well just like that there is a type of extreme planets which revolves around pulsars and according to astronomers living organisms could also thrive in those planets these type of planets are called pulsar planets and as the name suggests these planets rotates around pulsars or neutron stars now if you don't know about neutron stars then just know that these are dead stars mainly a leftover super densely packed ball of neutrons Although these are smaller than the actual star but it has almost same amount of gravitation pull and it also emits high radiations like x rays uv rays and gamma rays now come to the planets which revolves around these stars it is actually very very difficult to form life in this kind of conditions but it is not completely impossible to create a supporting environment for life that planet needs to have a strong atmosphere which can convert those high radiations into heat and within an optimum temperature living organisms could be born on those pulsar planets so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video about planets now if you enjoyed the video then please make sure to like the video and subscribe to this channel for more and also follow our facebook page enthusiastic for daily enthusiastic facts and science updates and as always thanks for watching